Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I thought it might be fun to tackle this collection um, and make some fabric clusters. Hey, why not? We've, if you've got little bits and pieces, you can cut little pieces of ribbon off of clothing. You can go to your local um, Joann's or Walmart and pick up some trims, or you can go to your thrift store, even better, and pick up some, or uh, raid your closet because you're going to find lace and things like that, possibly um, in your um, clothing that maybe you don't use anymore, old tablecloths, old linens, old curtains, old shower curtains. Um, you're going to have um, you're going to have a massive collection like this starting before you know it. Okay, so let's, and if this is happening, and if it hasn't happened, let it happen. You need to invite these things in. Remember that um, fabric is a fiber as well, and we can make fun things out of fabric, like fabric clusters. Now, your your fabric cluster could purely be fabric. Okay, let's, let's take a piece of this pretty little lace. Um, it's pretty all on its own. It doesn't need much... Uh, anything but let's say if we did what could we do with it let's see it has different elements we could take a piece of it let's just take a piece of it and see see where we go where well, this is kind of a craft with me let's see what we can create out of uh, just what we have sitting around here um, maybe this will spark some ideas for you okay like I said pretty as is this could be folded and turned into a page tab wouldn't that be adorable that would be so darn adorable just as is I don't know what this originally came from but it, it sure is darn pretty you could staple it or glue it there uh, but let's just have a little extra fun with it today I'm gonna I pulled out some pieces that have been floating around on my desk that have have wanted to find a new and better home there's a little piece of this I remove some of the extra fuzz from it. It's a piece of ribbon. I think it's even still got the wire in it. I think it's like um, bow ribbon or basket ribbon or wreath ribbon. I, I don't know how to tell the difference. It's all ribbon to me, wired ribbon. I guess you can use it for multiple different things. Maybe we'll leave the wires in there because they're really small and cute. And maybe we'll just glue you on top. Why not? Because it's a cluster and pretty much with clusters, you can do different, anything goes. You can do a, well, let's just do a random. Let's just see where this leads us. We don't know where this is going to lead us. I don't know where this is going to lead us. I'm just gonna roll this up in kind of a, a cluster ball and um, stick it on here and see what happens. Well, maybe we'll, we'll put it on like it's a little tag topper. How about that? All right. And we'll just keep adding to it until we're done. And um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can layer behind or in front it's all okay and um, let's just try some fun things now working with glue is always fun because you might get little glue strings and things might you know run away on you as you're trying to create them but that's okay that's okay yeah okay let's try that okay so now we have we have that let me go a little closer can you can you stand to go closer is that that's too close I know I see it I see it. how about there that's not bad I'm right here. Okay. Uh, what else have I got? Maybe I'll back up a little bit so you can see what else I have on my desk. I have these strange random strings and um, they're just little bits of leftover um, embroidery floss that I was using to tie a journal together. But sometimes you can take these things and make little almost like mini clusters out of them and then you can glue them to other things which is kind of fun. So if you have extra sewing thread or um, embroidery floss or crochet thread, something like that. You can make fun little doodads out of it. Here's a little extra piece of lace. We can put that on something here as well. Um, let us go a little closer. Okay, that goes better. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's see, what can we do here? Well, I'll tell you, I've got this fuzz. <laughs> this is literally fuzz on my desk, um, probably from pulling out of that, but I think that might make a nice tie let me maybe weave this into it. You don't need much. That's what I'm trying to show you is you don't need much except for a few little uh, starter pretties and then you can do them different ways. So we're going to we're going to have some different ways of putting some fabric uh, clusters together today. Let's just see what we can come up with here. Okay, I'm just going to bundle these like a bunch of sticks together like I've been gathering out in the forest and I've got a bundle of sticks. Come on, little stick bundle. All right. And since I'm going to glue it down, I don't technically need to tie it, I think. <laughs> Let's try it. All right. So I have a little bundle. And you could put this in. It could be like, like there. 
Okay, let's put it there. So we're layering up thin things. And uh, let's see how this goes. All right, it's kind of fun with the Fabrifix. You can, you can play with it and put on different things. Let's see, you have this little guy. He's just a little who knows what not. Maybe we're going to put him here. Okay. So we, we try not to be too judgmental, and we just build our little canvas from there. It can be a big canvas. It can be a tiny canvas. It's all good. But we just keep building. So this is using the fabric as the base. It is very thin. It will go nicely on a junk journal page. Um, that will be a lot of fun. If you want to, if this has gone a little too much and too hairy, you can always trim it down a little bit and um, bring it in. And if you want to, you could put a little focal point there. Uh, but I think it's actually okay. Uh, I think just with the, the knot, it's kind of cute. Um, and I could take this one and I could do it this way. Oh, I could do that, couldn't I? That's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right, let's just do that. So I don't know if you're like me and you like to save the laces and this falls into the category of pretties to me. Um, I, I collect these things like, like uh, a ma the Mad Hatter and I don't know what that means. But um, I, then I end up with not one but three giant bags, Aldi bags of this stuff. So I should, I should make a kit right? Yeah, like, you know, maybe putting a lot of little pieces together, because I know it's not always easy to find, um, and, you know, I've just been collecting this stuff forever. Maybe you have too, and you know exactly where I'm coming from. I'm going to grab the stickles. I know, I know, you knew it was coming, but I think we can get little pretty accents and things like that going here with it. Let's, let's see what we can do. We're, we're just feeling really wild and dandy today. All right, we don't have to go overboard or anything. No, we'd never go overboard with the stickles here. That never happens. Okay, today I'm going to use Nouveau crystal drops in copper penny. Oh, I've memorized the name. Look at that. That means I use this one a lot because I like it. <laughs> and um, I think I'm just going to like maybe three. Oh, that was a mother of a dot. Oh, I got big ones. You got to remember sometimes with the Nouveau drops, that comes out a little bit bigger. I got, I got to kind of use up what's on the end here. And um, you can put random. It doesn't have to necessarily follow a pattern. I have no idea what I'm doing here at this point. Maybe I'll just put one there. There we go. And we're going to let that sit aside to dry. And um, let me just give you a little closer look of it, at it. Well, that, yeah, that's okay. I have a polywog tail. Do you see the, the tadpole tail, the polywog tail? Um, you can sit here for an hour and, and like lift that back up carefully. But it, it kind of leaves a mark anyway, so I would say it's not really worth it. Just leave it be. It's okay. Car just carry on. Carry on and make another. Yeah, and this one's good. I mean, I think that's really pretty. All right, we're going to put you over there. Um, all right, now let's do a little different technique. Oh, I've got too much stuff on my desk yet again. Uh, yeah, you know, and I cleaned the desk this morning too. So I would have a nice, clear, straight away to play with you guys. You can also use, I'm going to back up so you can see. You can also use a paper base. This is a, um, an end page or an end sheet from a book. Um, it's like that extra pages that they give you to protect the book, maybe to write notes in the book. Um, I have read it's to protect the book. I, I've never read it's to make notes in the book, but I don't see why not, right? Why not? It would be a good place to write notes. It's blank paper. Or you can come along if you're a junk journal maker and do all sorts of stuff with that paper because it's really cool paper. Right. I know. I know. Um, and you can give yourself just um, maybe some starting um, pieces here. This basically just grab some scraps. That's all you're really doing is grabbing some scraps. And we're going to we're going to cover on this and just see what what happens. Oh, here's a little pretty piece. What is that? OK, so this is what is that? Oh, that is that the color or did I I, I think I've got dye on it. Did I? Oh, no, maybe that is the actual color of the lace. It's got some coppery colors in it as well. Okay, maybe let's layer that on there. I'm going to be really fanciful and pull out my... Where are they? They're gone. Of course they're gone. No, they're never here. No, when you need them. Okay, I'll grab this pair. I rarely use this pair. Actually, I don't... I barely ever use this pair. Okay, okay, I'm going to open that. These are Ginger scissors. They're, they're fabric scissors, basically, and it, sometimes it's nice to use fabric scissors. We'll see. Let's see. Is it nice? Well, it did cut very well, probably, because I don't use it. <laughs> so it stays sharp. 
All right, now there's a couple of ways that you could get this down. And you could cut it perfectly square or, or you could put glue it on an angle. I mean, there are no rules here. Um, you could do Fabri Fix again, but maybe I'm going to try Scotch Create Glue Stick because this is a very light fabric project and I think this glue will be just dandy to hold this. All right, just put this, at least for the base piece here. I think that's kind of fun. And this piece, the paper piece, will give your little fabric piece just a little bit more structure if you wanted more structure for it. So there, it gives it something to grab onto, you know? So now we have, we have that. Now we can go anywhere from here. So I'm just randomly reaching into this bucket and seeing what I have. Okay, I have that. I'm just gonna, whatever I, okay, I'm just gonna pull out some stuff. I have this. All right, so let's see what we have. Well, this is very pretty. Maybe we could do a border. Oh, that's really nice, I like that. Now I feel like I'm almost making a pocket or something, which you can do. You can go in a completely different direction if you see something forming, just roll with it. Yeah, just, just embrace it, roll with it, and create something. Um, now I'm going to pull out the Fabri Fix. And if you've never seen that before, the bottle looks like this Be it by Beacon. And it's a clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, paper to paper, fabric to paper. Yep. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't uh, wrinkle up as much like wet white glue does. So there you go. And it's a good, this is fabric to fabric, so that should, that should hold really well. All right, so now I've got that little thing going there, and that I think is really pretty. Um, now let's see, could we do something with this? And you could do like line designs. You could go on angles. Well, I'll try going on an angle. We'll just be a little different. We'll just be kind of, kind of wild and crazy today. Like we'll say to ourselves, what if we went on an angle today? Where, w where would we end up? Who knows? But we're going to be using up some of our, our, our pretties, and that's the whole idea. Okay, so I'm going to lay down a little bit of Fabri Fix glue. Can you see? Yeah, okay. And lay that down there. Okay, okay. Now maybe I want to come in with, I don't know, a little accent or something. Um, hmm, somebody gave me these cutouts. They're really pretty. Um, but I said I would use fabric, so let's stay with the fabric. Okay, staying with the fabric. Um, Okay, I have this tiniest of little pieces here. It's like a nothing. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a half of a nothing, but it, it might look cute right there. I don't know, just giving a little photo, maybe not dark enough. Okay, let's look for something a little darker. And if you don't have something darker, you can um, make it darker with your daubers. Probably have some residual ink on those daubers. And let's, let's grab anything with residual ink. Do you have residual ink? You wear a pink dauber according to your little string I tied down there. Let's see what we get. Stay there. Eh. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try. Probably making a nice... Oh, oh. Okay. okay, here we go. Now we're getting some color on there. Now I'm sure if I wet my dauber a little bit with a little mister, it would come out even more. So oh, this is absolutely coming apart and it's going to be the cutest little thing ever. I have now two pieces and we craft from here. That's what we do. All right. So we're just collaging at this point, and I would say that these are like little mini master boards. You're just building, 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 and um, each one can be a little bit more enhanced than the last. You can go a little further, push your own envelope, maybe, uh, and it's okay. You can add bling or something like that. There's, it's like you just don't, you're not chained just to using fabric, but I just wanted to show you if we just use fabric what we get, and then you can always amp it up from there. I guess I already cheated a bit with the with the um, Nouveau drops, but hey, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, there, okay, so we have that. All right. And what else can we put on there? Let's see. I'm going to dig in here and find out what other little goodies are down here. There's all sorts of stuff. See, that's the thing is you got to it, it, I got, uh, yeah. It's good to rotate the stuff in the bag, too, so that you, you actually remember what you had. Um, oh, here, we haven't played with that in a while. Or what about this? Okay, so we have some glitz. That's right, this has a, a silvery color to it. Just pretty little frilly ribbons. Not really, you know, doing anything for anybody. It could go crosswise like that. We could give it a bottom. Oh, that little bottom might look cute, right? Yeah, let's give it a bottom. All right, and some Fabrifix. Okay, I put that in a Sugar Bells icing piping bottle so it gives you a thinner stream of glue. 
Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll just trim this up a little bit, give it some shape. Sorry. I'm meandering off the, the view, view site here. Stay in the frame, Pam. All right. So now we have something like that. So you know what I mean? Like you can, you can just keep going. And I, I am feeling compelled to grab the stickles, of which I will do. I call everything stickles. It's not all stickles, but it could be. Okay, what's this? This is liquid pearls in blush, dimensional pearlescent paint. I thought it might go nicely with the pink, so I'm just going to, let's hope it's going to flow. Are you flowing? Oh, you are. Look at you. It's going to give me these little instant halfback pearls, which are just cute as little buttons along here. And sometimes it's fun to fuss on one piece for a little bit. So you have a fancy piece every now and then in your journal, if, if that's your style. And then maybe do some more simple ones. And then every once in a while, come along and do a, a fancy one. Um, and just have fun with it, really. Just, like, play with it for a while. You don't have to... Sometimes it's not about mass making. So sometimes it's just about enjoying the one you're playing with at the moment. Okay, so... There we go. Oh, you want me to do there, too? Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to, like, follow the yellow brick road, which is now pink. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm just touching my leg. No, oh, nothing. Great. <laughs> And sunshine is right there. Yes. Okay. Everybody is present and accounted for. Um, oh, is that that is so pretty. You know what else I want to put on there? I, I feel it from the depths of my soul. There's something that says, go and get a decorated um, safety pin. Do I have any? I was falling over them the other day. Oh, there's one. Okay. All right. So these are fun to add to little things. So if you have a safety pin and you have some seed beads and maybe little bits of material and seed beads, you can make one of these and then you could either pin it. Well, you can't pin it on because if you open this, all that's going to come off. Maybe don't do that. You have a couple options here. You can glue it here, which I think would be really cute, which is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to glue that there just to give it a little bit of dimension. This piece to me is saying sewing notion. There's no, no actual sewing here, but with the safety pin and the bits and bops and fabrics, it says sewing to me for some reason. So I'm just going to glue it down. But the nice thing about the safety pin is that you also have this little loop here. Yeah, broken nail. Sorry. Um, loop here where you can put a jump ring there and you can dangle this from something. So just know you have that option, which is kind of fun. And um, so let us grab our Fabrifix, because okay, I guess I should probably say metal. It's not it's like super strong with metal, but it will hold um, light metal projects, you know? Okay, get your, try to get the flattest side possible of the paper clip. Get some glue down, get it all over your fingers, and then you pop that baby down. And then you just walk away and forget about it for a while. Just try and push it down as much as you can. Okay, try not to stick your fingers in the liquid pearls. And then we're going to put that over there to dry. Isn't that cute? That's just cute, right? And I would use that probably as a pocket. It's got enough strength now with the multi layers. I would just do a U shaped glue on the back, put it down, and then tuck something um, probably simple in it. So not to take away from the decoration of the pocket. Or so I like to tell myself, but um, it doesn't always go that way. Um, there was a very nice, lovely lady who came along and she gave me these. I believe they're from her coffee maker, some type of coffee filter. But she looked at this with a new set of MacGyver eyes and said to herself, we can make something out of this. So, yes, let's do that. Let's make something out of this. Um, these are really cute. Um, maybe we'll make some of those. Let's just do this. And now we have an instant um, little, almost like a... Um, a a taco pocket right there, which I think is so darn cute. Uh, this is pink. Maybe we'll just pink it up a little bit. This thing is so dry. It would be nice if it had some ink on it, ma'am. That's all right. We'll do our best. Okay. So now what can we do with this and, and fabric clustering? Um, let us dig deeper. Let's go deeper. Come on, Pam. Let's see what you got in there. Um, oh, all right. I'm going to bring a little of this. And I already have little tiny pieces. I have a little tiny piece of this. So I think it might go nicely right there. Yeah, I think I could do that. Let me just take this. So it doesn't take much, you know, and these little tiny bits, you just hold on to your horses because we're going we're gonna to do something with those. By jolly, we are. And um, so nothing will go to waste around here. 
And I cut it off right about there. All right. Again, with the Fabri Fix, this is nice and strong and easy to work with. Dries fast on camera too. Not the cheapest glue, but sure is functional, boy. And when you craft a lot, big boy having a, your favorite glue is just everything. And everybody's favorite glue is different. So it's okay if you don't like Fabrifix. It's okay if you don't like Scotch, uh, you know, create glue stick. That's okay. You find your, you find your favorite because everybody has different needs um, for their glue. Okay, I had to, did I have a different piece? Oh, this is very simple. This is like a, a cotton, oh, can't see it. A cotton, what is that? You know, kind of like um, that. That's what it is, very thin, very thin. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. We could layer, we could maybe put something there. Okay, let's try that. All right, so this is just very simple layering, nothing fancy, but we're just making an element. This is more of a simple element that will be glued down at another time in a book and um, it will hold something in here. Okay, we'll make this something because I think I have enough little somethings on my desk we can make it. So we have a complete, complete little project. Um, and those are fun when they're grab and go ready. Then when it comes to junk journal decorating time, you're just grab and go ready. Yeah, this would also make a very cute page tab. You know, I just think that would be really cute too. Um, but today you are going to have a little uh, journal card made out of book and paper. I'm just going to rip you. I'm going to go in there. And I think I'm going to give you a little topper and I'm going to take all those little things that we thought were nothings and we're going to give them a home. Yeah, we're going to give them a home. All right. And what you can do, which of course I can't find my brown dopper right now. Where are you? Where are you? I, you know, you had to... No, not there. All right, no, I guess we're not working out. We're going to work with the black one because that's what we got. And I'm just going to put a little line below, below where the thingies are going. Oh, I got half in the glue. All right, see, that should have happened first, just for contrast. Um, nothing else other than contrast. Okay, I'm just taking these little leftover bits and, and, and just gluing them almost layering them along just giving them giving them a home i mean we have this substance here why not use it why not is it am i being cheap i don't know i think it's being creative call it what you will um it's another way to clean up your desk without actually having to clean up your desk because you're just putting everything into a craft which is kind of fun and these look cute when you when you get going with them what? I don't have any... No, there's got to be more. Don't give up. Oh, there's a little piece of something. Okay, I'm going to have to put this on there to finish the job. Is there anything else hanging around here? No, out, apparently you can clean up quite quickly using that technique. Um, a few more little fuzz balls. And whoop, an escapee. All right, let's just put you down there. And then we need something to soften the break. See, it was going along, going along. And then I ran out of lint. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We can take this. Let's take this. And let's make a, a, like a ruffle out of it. And that, that'll be our little focal point. Let's see if we can do that. This will be a little... Are you close enough to see this, this exciting action? Okay, so there. All right, just put a little glue there. Get, get enough down. Okay. And then I've, I've, like, I've done this. I've, like, accordion folded it. Okay, and then I'm going to try and glue the whole thing down. Do you think it'll work? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's put, the, let's put that down there. Okay, so now I feel like I need an anchor. I need an anchor um, to hold the whole thing down. Like a little, you know what? Let's grab some of that string. Oh, let me back up just a little for you so you can see a little better. Okay. Apparently I craft on an angle. Okay, so you have something like this. You just take a couple of these. And if you have something that's floating, you can put a tie down, okay? And what you do is you just take a little bit of your fabric fix and you run it from one end to the other. And this becomes your tie down or as if you sewed it. You could also sew this. Yeah, that would work too. Um, this is actually two strings. So I'm gonna roll them together, okay? And then I'm gonna place it in the glue. And I'm going to sit here for an hour. No, it doesn't take that long, but it does take a second. And because there's pushback here, 
because I'm, I'm trying to tack something down, squash it flat, it might just take a second to grab. But this way, everybody should be nicely anchored. Okay, if I can get my finger off of there. Oh, yep, yeah, try not to. Let it set, okay? Let it breathe, for, like, to set for a second. You can come along and cut off the little ends. Is this one of those videos where I'm coming too close? Probably, right? Okay, I'll back up a little bit. I heard ya. I heard ya. And, and this is literally from the lint on your desk, which I think it's really kind of cute. All right, and that'll, that'll, once that dries, it'll be secure. Okay, so, and, oh. Well, I would really like my brown dauber, please. Where are you? You are hiding from me, and I've done nothing wrong. Nothing. You, you and I were good friends. You're, and you're, you're just not, they're not playing. No, okay, I got blue. Just put a little blue on here. I just want the edge to pop a little bit. No, no reason. Just, you know, I'm here. It's here. All right, so that's that's gluing down pretty good. What is this? This is a tiny little journal card, a little message card. Maybe somebody wants to write a note to somebody, a little secret note. And then you can take this and glue this onto a page in your journal. And you have a little, a little surprise journal card and a little mini uh, circular pocket um, made out of a little fabric collage idea. Okay, so maybe let's wake, make one more little thing. Let's see. Um, Let's try um, a layered design where we glue one thing to the next to the next, almost like we're making a Franken page, but we're making a fabric Franken cluster. Say that 10 times fast. Okay, let's work with some of the what we had just because it's here. And um, let's just cut out maybe, maybe probably about four strips of whatever. You know what I mean? Just grab some whatever. And let's see if we can make something from it. Try not to pre-think it. I guess that's my most important message. Don't pre-think it. Stop. St I hear you pre-thinking back there. Martha. Martha. Stop that. <laughs> I know. It's hard. It's hard not to. But just like let it go because you can always pre-think later. Can you, can you pre-think later? Hmm. There's one for the wizards. Get back to me on that. Um... And then maybe one more. One more. We just do anything, Pam. Anything. Okay, how about this? Okay, here's a white for contrast. We'll just put that in there. And um, without a base. We're going baseless here. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're often baseless. Um, just give some straight. We can always do more trimming later. I'll always do that. Maybe that'll be the bottom because I put that on the top of the other one. And let me do a contrast. Oh, that looks neat, doesn't it? I already like it. I already like it already. Yeah, or this is going to be really cool. Okay, and they don't even have to measure the same in size. They can be different sizes. You could actually build a really cool Christmas tree out of lace. Oh, we could do that. Maybe we'll do that next. This is kind of going to be that, but this is going to be the square version of the Christmas tree. Um, oh, that's pretty. With that lace on there. You can't really see that, but it's silver lace. It's just, it's just really pretty. But maybe we'll put that on the very top. Um, okay, so we have this. Now, this might be a fun way to make Christmas ornaments too, right? Little fabric and lace Christmas ornaments made just out of fabric and lace. Let's see if they'll be too floppy. I don't think so. I think they'll be all right. And if they're too floppy, you could always put them on a base and then decorate both sides of the base. But if you want that, that see-through look, then you don't want anything back there. And the glue does stiffen it a little bit too. So take that into account. And um, there, I guess we're making a birthday cake because it's getting progressively smaller. It's a version of the Christmas tree known as the birthday cake. Yes. Okay, here we go. There. All right. Cut. All right. It, it, you know, it's very low risk. I mean, it, it, remember, if it was only paper before, this is only fabric. So don't get too, like, all knickers twisted. Because, you know, sometimes those knickers get really twisted. But um, it's okay to play with the fabric, too. It is... Even if it's your old clothes and you know that, that dress that you just love but you don't wear it anymore and you can't quite give it up, it's time. When you, you think it, when you can't wear it anymore, it's time to give it up. Yeah, like have it be a, have another purpose. You could give it to your sister Sally. Yes, yes, you can. But you're perfectly okay to craft with it. Yes, you are to deconstruct the dress and borrow bits and pieces from it to uh, create you know, it's your dress. You can do whatever you want with it. And it's not sacrilege. I promise you, it's okay. It's better than cutting up old books from the many centuries ago. We won't talk about that. Um, 
yeah so don't worry about it it's just um it's just an old dress that's doing nobody any good in the closet that's right all right so here we go we have that that's not bad right so this i think would look really pretty okay i have a junk journal oh i'm debating about whether to sell this one i don't know i love this one um i love them all but i'm um, you know how you like you're extra bonded to some this is one of them and it's not that it's any like it's just like one of my earlier ones so hey you know okay so let's go back a little bit take you back here okay come with me all right there we go all right can you see are you focused okay so let's find something this way see this is like um a linen-y type paper that would look really pretty on there but let's let's find a special spot for you oh look at that it's pretty but we already have some material we could do but too much too close together oh that looks cool very and i'm gonna have to word use the word here not liking that i'm gonna have to use the word but i'm gonna use the word juxtaposition okay it's not truly juxtaposed but what is contrasting here is the grid which is very engineer scientific mathematical analytical too soft and frilly lace, very pretty, very, very wondrous. It could be um, a page topper up here, just to, it could be like a decoration, which is what I think I will actually use it for, because I like the way this little hoo-ha dingles out of the top, and it also gives you, this gives you not much texture, this gives you lots of texture. So, yeah, you know, when you're, you're talking texture, you got it here with your pretties. So, just some random, you know, fabric collage, out of the box, maybe a little different um, ideas and ways that you can use those pretties. And I, you, I know there's a few of you out there with a few bags of these babies wondering, is today the day? Is today the day I break into the lacy woohoos? Well, I'll tell you, if you're not going to do it during the holiday season, I don't know when. Actually, you can do it anytime. But um, if you're like trying to justify... Yeah, there's your justification. It's the holiday season. There's bling. There's gold ruffle. There's this and that and the other. And um, then you can have something really pretty like that on a page. And, or you could put a little higher if you want it to uh, deedle off the top, which is very pretty. See that? Mm-hmm, really cutesy, right? Okay. So I think that that is it. We're gonna, th let me just show you what we made. Um, so we made this. Yeah, you saw that. Then we made this, you saw that. And then there's this with the liquid pearls. And then there's the true authentic cluster just out of fabric and the Nouveau drops um, all together there. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. Um, remember that uh, fabric is only a fiber, just like paper is. And there's uh, much fun to be had with it. Uh, and you don't need, need to sew a stitch. So there you go. And so sun, sunbun, sunbun of Snuffleupagus land. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I have news. You have news? I have news. Okay, well, all right. I'm bringing you in here. Now, is it serious pup date news or is it, what? what is it? Okay. All right, get, get roll me over. I'm coming in. Here I am. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, so this is the deal. Um, I went to the uh, uh, park park place yep went to the park and I made some friends and I sat in um, this other very nice lady's lap for a very long time and her name was not mom I know um, I found out that other people are very nice too and um, they, they are warm and they give you treats and Life's pretty good over there at the park. I think I'll be going back very soon. You will, will you? Yeah, she had some pretty good treats, Mom. I think you, you ought to talk to her. Find out where she gets them. She said something about Amazon, made in the USA, um, healthy, but they were good. That was the most important point, so I'm trying to tell you, Mom, they're very good. You might like them. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we'll take that all into consideration. Thank you very much, son. You're welcome. Happy crafting, everybody. Take care. Bye. Okay, thank you. Yes, word from Puptum. There you go, folks. If you don't know, I have a 25% off sale going on in my merchandise store, which is my t-shirt shop. So if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, um, the links are down below my description box. And um, uh, all through November, you can get the 25% off. The code is CRAFTY25, uh, C-R-A-F-T, 
25. And um, uh, if you have not signed up for my newsletter, my free monthly email newsletter, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker explaining what a junk journal is and how to use it, um, page list of ideas. Uh, the freebie section is all the way at the bottom. Just scroll down and you will find it. You're also going to find updates from me, junk journal tips, uh, peeks at my new digi kits coming out, and a plethora of other little doodads and goodies in there as well. And also, you can, um, my videos come out, did I say this? Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, my podcast, new audio material, comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I also put out video podcasts. They come out on every other day of the week, and you can watch those on Spotify or listen to them uh, via audio on any of your, of your regular bo uh, podcast platforms. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find din vintage, <laughs> vintage, dented digital kits. Uh, they're printables. Basically, you, you're buying computer files from me um, that are themed. There's five pages in each. And they, there's over 180, and you can pick from birds, Victorian, um, French manuscript, celestial, wildflowers. I'm trying to think of some different ones because I tend to say the same categories all the time. Um, many, many different kinds. Uh, Renoir paintings, um, just a lot of fun things. Mis mystical maidens. Um, um, autumn dreaming. I mean, there's a lot of really fun things in there. And um, you can print them out at home at, on your printer or um, if you would prefer, I print them out for you. I have a print and mail service where if you give me the names of 10 digi kits for one flat fee, including pr free priority mail shipping, I will print those out on nice lightweight cardstock for you. Um, and I only need the first two or three words from each did you get name and then I will know which one you're talking about because I have more than one flower and more than one butterfly so just give me a, a word or two after and I'll know what it is and um, you can send that to me through Etsy message or through uh, to my email address pam at the .com. I also have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies or things that you see that I use here if I can find a link I will put them in my Amazon shop so you can go search as well um, I'm an affiliate for Amazon uh, you don't pay more for the items but that does help me if you purchase through my link so thank you very much for everybody who has done so and also um, uh, and thank you to everybody who's purchased um, all of my items I mean you guys are amazing so I'm I'm flabbergasted and honored and so appreciative and there is kibble on the table thanks to you guys and um, uh, what else uh, you can find me on Pinterest Twitter Instagram LinkedIn Facebook come and join our Facebook group we're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos and you're also welcome to lurk and hang out and just get inspired by the amazing awesomeness of what people are posting on there because it is fabulous and I'm truly inspired all the time and uh, remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody go have some fun bye <laughs>